got nine jobs here. Whoa. Hmm? So school is starting just around the corner. And I hear a lot of people aren't ready for it. Like they have their clothes, they have their school supplies, they're just not mentally prepared for it. Or that this is their last year. Or that they're starting college and they're terrified. Terrified is like the whole overall feeling I've gotten. So I am going to help you because I made it through four years of high school alive. And that is emotionally damaged to some of my peers. Just going to point that out. So, uh, why you should take school serious is my first point. Um, when you should take it serious, because good grades look good on everything. They look good on a college application. They look good on employee records. They look good, basically, on everything. They make you seem smarter than you probably actually are. So you should do that homework, you should stay, you should go to class, you should pay attention, you should take the notes, you should participate and do the projects and have, and try to turn everything in on time. I didn't turn everything in on time and it affected my grades. And it's not that I wasn't doing it, it's that when you have problems in school, when it comes to learning, such as mine with reading and writing, it does affect the time and a lot of teachers didn't understand this until I pointed out the fact I had an IEP. So, yeah. Number two, getting help. Whether this might be help with an assignment, help with a project, help understanding something, or help with college finances, it is out there. Talk to your teachers, talk to your parents, talk to your counselors. Go to the study group things schools have. They will help you. Okay. Uh, my point number three is mental and physical health. Health. So if you are feeling tired, stressed, overwhelmed, anything of the sort, talk to your counselors. Talk to your counselors. They will help you. And if they are not helping you, go talk to your parents and get a therapist. Because it is easier to talk about what is the problem and try to find a solution than just let it boil over to where you have a meltdown. I am serious. Your mental health is more important than anything else in your life. Except for your physical health. Because your physical health keeps you alive. Which is my next point. Well, same number of different bullet point down. Um, get 30 minutes of activity every day. Whether it be walking to and from school, whether it be you going to the gym and reading your textbook while you are on like a stationary bike, get exercise. It will help you stay mentally active. Actually, it'll help you sleep better. It'll help you feel better overall. Also, make sure that you're getting enough fruits and vegetables. Okay. Uh, point number four, college. So, um, when you're a junior, start filling out all of those scholarship and grant papers. Start when you are a junior so that when you are a senior, if you still need that extra finance help, you can fill out FAFSA and get it. And this way, you know, and, oh, and when you're a junior, start applying for colleges too. Don't wait until your senior year to do it. Start doing it at the end of your junior year. I'm serious. It will help you. It will tell you which colleges have what grants and what scholarships. It will help you decide. And FAFSA is really great. You do have to fill out FAFSA every year, I believe, for financial aid. It opens January 1st and closes in February, I believe. I'm not 100% sure about that. So, yeah. And here's another thing. You don't have to go to college. You don't. Trust me, you don't have to go to college. You can get a job. Granted, it will help you get a job, but really, I know a lot of people who are working in their fields that didn't go to college. It's they started out as interns and worked up from there instead. Granted, most internships don't pay, but
but you're supposed to gain something. And if you're just making copies and getting coffee, that's against the law. I just learned that. So, yeah. Um, four. No, wait, five. Resources. There are hundreds of resources out there for school. There's Khan Academy, SciShow, Crash Course, Mental Floss. Seriously, they will all help you. Two apps I found that have helped me one more than the other. There's Duolingo, which is great for if you're learning a language. And then there's Memrise. It help, it's mainly oriented towards languages, but it's easier to use, more interactive, and just better. You can learn ASL on this one. You can't on Duolingo. And there are other little courses you can take. Like there's an astronomy. There's... I don't know, I'm only taking the astronomy other than uh, ASL right now because oh, I want to learn, but I don't want to overstress myself with more school because I just finished in June. Yeah, so there's that. And if you're not going back to school right now, but you want to get smarter, Memrise is the app for you. No, this was not sponsored by the way. This just was not sponsored by Memrise. Though if they want to give me a sponsorship, hit me up because I love Memrise. I've been using it for almost two months now and I've learned almost 30 different sign language things. Like I have them like I have them memorized. I lost Wi-Fi for like a week and a half so that's why I only have 30 <laughs> done. Um, yeah. Granted, I started with just learning conversational uh, sign language. I didn't start with the letters, and I should really go back and start with the letters because I'm a little confused because there are certain like symbols that are letters, but you have to use other other motions with them. So yes, and I talk with my hands. So doing sign language when I talk would actually probably help. <laughs> um, yeah, that's really all I have for you. Um, this is going to become a series. It's going to be called School Help. Um, the next video I'm going to do for this series is called Actual School Supplies. Because you get those lists, but you don't use half the things you get on that list. Trust me. I will tell you everything you actually need. And it's going to save you almost $100 in school supplies. I'm serious. Alright guys. Bye.